There's not many people around here. No, yeah. yeah. I'll fill it. Yeah. Many flashlights too. Yeah. Oh, Tim, I thought you were on holiday. Uh, right. right, good morning, everyone. Um, thanks for joining us, first of all. Uh, delighted to be able to welcome. Jan Zivert is a good new head coach of Westfield Town. Thank you to our photography colleague as well for doing that and getting out of the way. Um, Jan's going to say a few words in a second. Uh, we'll do the first live broadcast section. When we finish that, we'll do an embargoed section for tomorrow morning for newspapers seated in the same position. So we'll ask you to turn off at the back if that's okay. But uh, for now, I'll hand over to Jan uh, to say a few words. Thank you, Jan. Yeah. Hello to all of you, first of all. Yeah, I'd like to uh, say that I'm very proud to be the new manager of Huddersfield Town. And I'd like to thank Huddersfield Town, Dean Hoy, Julian Winter, and also I'd like to thank Borussia Dortmund, Michel Zorg, and Ingo Boris, who made it possible that I have the opportunity uh, to start here in Huddersfield. And of course, uh, and I'd like to point that out, um, the biggest respect to what Dave Wagner did here. It was incredible, and all the people around him in Huddersfield. Um, and this is a thing which was uh, fantastic and it belongs to the people here in Huddersfield and belongs to the history of that club. Um, furthermore, I'd uh, like to thank Mark Hudson for his work, which he did last week during the week, which was very important. And yeah, now I'm really looking forward to do my work here and start my work here. Thanks a lot. Tim. Hi. Hi. The club said they first spoke to you over two years ago. So can you just talk us through the process, how things developed following David Wagner's departure and your appointment here? Yeah, as it was written, uh, we stayed in touch. I think since I was working in Bochum, uh, I did my, my work there. And as you know, until the end of my contract, I always was working for the club full time. So we were in touch and I followed what was happening here in Huddersfield. And it was really, really uh, fascinating to me. It's a special club. And let, uh, I think that's the reason also why I decided for Huddersfield Town. It's a big step up from the job you were doing at Dortmund, but it's one that David Wagner yeah. did successfully. So do you look at this as a, a huge challenge, but also a big opportunity? I think so. I think so. And uh, I always did my way, so I can't be compared to David Wagner because he's a fantastic manager. I uh, had much success here, but now it's my new role here. It's a new chapter, I think. And the most important thing is that I'm used to work with professional players. In Dortmund, I had great uh, opportunities by that. And so I'm, uh, I'd like to challenge myself, and uh, I'm really looking forward to get to know the players and the stuff here. Why do you think coaches from Dortmund and Germany generally have come over and been so successful in England? I don't really know. First of all, I'd have to say that you're fantastic coaches too. Uh, and uh, the most important thing is that um, maybe we have a certain style, uh, a certain idea of football. Um, and I have my idea of football, which developed over the years. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to present it. You mentioned your style there. Huddersfield has struggled for goals. So what will be your style of football? Could the fans expect an attacking philosophy? Um, you think, I read it and it sounds fantastic. Well, it was on the homepage from Huddersfield Town. And of course, it's my, my way of playing football. The most important thing is but that we are in a certain situation at the moment. And the team is in a certain situation. So first of all, I'd like to point out that it's uh, I have to get to understand the players and then we can do everything, of course. Yeah, but the most important thing is that my style is my style, but it's better. You can talk flowery about everything, yeah, but the most important thing is to work it out with the players because they are important. Yeah, and then we'll see and I'd like to see the people that they know, okay, this is our football then. Have you been promised any funds in the transfer market? Do you expect to be busy between now and the end of the month? I think my day has more than 24 hours at the moment. <laughs> So, uh, of course, I had to, um, yeah, to, to do my work. Yeah, and uh, since the, there was the, the contact with Huddersfield Town, uh, I had did my research, of course, together with, with Huddersfield Town. But, um, of course, uh, as I'd like to, to point out, the most important thing, I worked for Borussia Dortmund until the end, you know, and did it with all my heart blood. Yeah, and I think uh, now is the time to have a thought of the transfer period. And, yeah, I think we, uh, we, are, we have a look at that. 
you weren't at the game on Sunday. Martin from Wakefield was. <laughs> uh, did, did you watch that with, a, with amusement like the rest of us and did, did you watch the game? I have to thank Martin from Wakefield because uh, it's fantastic that I could observe the game then, you know what I mean? Uh, by the way, fantastic guy, I met him yesterday and what he's doing is great with the people and the charity and uh, fantastic. So, um, as, I, as I told you, we were in touch since a few years now because the club were prepared and me too. Um, and I observed some games and I had my thoughts about the, the squad. So, uh, I think the most important thing is that it's a fantastic atmosphere in the stadium. Yeah, uh, incredible what the fans always do here in Huddersfield. This is very special yeah, and I'm looking forward to feel it. And finally for me, in terms of staying in the Premier League now, it looks a very, very difficult one to, to stay up from the position that Huddersfield are in. How confident are you that you can make a real fight of it? Without being confident, I wouldn't sit here. And uh, I think that we have to work hard and do our very best and prepare for everything. We have 50 more, 50 more games and uh, my only focus at the moment is the task which you have to do with the team and I will give everything uh, yeah, to, to have good, good games. Thank you. Yeah, you're the youngest manager in the Premier League. What was it that excited you about the challenge? How much are you looking forward to playing in this league? I'm the youngest one. I did not know that. <laughs> uh, it's a compliment. Uh, yeah, first of all, it's quite impressive to me. Yeah. Is it the term impressive? Excuse for sometimes the words are not the right ones. Uh, the most important thing is that I'm confident that I'm going to show my work here in Premier League. And uh, I respect uh, all the, the things of the Premier League because it's for me the, the biggest league in the world. Uh, and I'm so proud that uh, I can be part of that. It's a huge challenge. Do you, do you feel that it is a, an achievable challenge that you still have time with those 15 games on? Please, can you repeat one more, one more time? It's a huge challenge to try to stay up, but do you feel you have the time to possibly give, give it your all to do that? So what is time in life? <laughs> the most important thing is, um, since my coach career, I always, always challenge myself, uh, and it developed from year to year. So I think the most important thing is that uh, I'd like to challenge myself, and I like that the boys feel that I'd like to challenge uh, the lads, I have to challenge myself. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyone else? Yeah, Anton. Um, welcome to Huddersfield. Um, because of the contact you had two years ago, obviously you, you made clear you were focused on the jobs that you had, but because of that contact, have you kept a, maybe a closer eye on Huddersfield now than you might have done? So uh, much more aware of the players and, and what's been going on here? Mm -hmm. uh, that you, uh, you followed Huddersfield more closely yeah. in two years than other clubs? Uh, as I try to explain, Huddersfield is a special, a special club for me, uh, and it's very familiar. Uh, club. So, of course, I was observing the games and I had a, had a connection to that and yeah, I'm very proud to, to sign here because I, um, it's the next step for me, a big step, um, but I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to, to start with my work now. And have you had any contact with David Whiteman? Uh, not yet. I will. Uh, and uh, not yet because of so many things to do, but uh, I will. Uh, would you, if you, you made it very clear that you are very much your own man. But are there things that you will share in common because there is a familiarity of the path that you have taken and you took? Please, can you please repeat once again, sir? Is there a familiarity because, you know, of the background of David Wright and the background that you have, that there will be familiarities, something that is similar between the way that you go about your job and he went about his, or would you say you are totally different? Yeah, first of all, of course there are similarities. Because uh, maybe you know our playing style a bit, yeah. But the most important thing is that I'm I'm Jan Zivert, and I have to do my way like David did his way. And I think we should not compare us two because that's not possible. Yeah. And the most important thing is now the familiarity of the um, club made me proud, and it was one of the reasons why I signed here. Thank you. And one thing, Julian, sorry, was was Jan the number one target for this group since when David Wagner left? Yes, absolutely. We didn't we didn't actually speak to anyone else. Uh, from the moment that we knew David was leaving, we've been clear in our, our statement about how we've been preparing for David leaving. So let's be clear, you know, David's been a, a massive success at Huddersfield. He's had a lot of interest in him. We fielded off quite a lot of uh, other clubs wanting to take, to take him. He stayed loyal to the club, which was fantastic. So um, we've kept a running list of candidates. Um, Jan was always on that list and was absolutely at the top when it came to making the decision. We haven't spoken to anyone else. 
Anyone else? Anyone Jim, else? my compliments on keeping a two-year secret that you were talking to Jan Zeeman. Very, very <laughs> Seriously, within the football industry, how well known was it that Jan was your number one target, your plan B for if David Wagner was going to lead? Uh, well, well no, nobody knew in the industry. The people, Dean, obviously, clearly, um, part of the initial ideas and developing lists and the, the club's view has always been, and I, I like the idea of similar, same, uh, thing, uh, Jan's own style sort of thing, but we've had three years of, of success at the football club and we shouldn't be seeking, and we never have been seeking, to start again, rip, up, rip that up and start again. But what you have to allow is uh, a strong head coach with a strong personality to put his fingerprints on, on what it is. So I'm quite excited about that, what's going to look like, but this is not a throwing everything out and starting again. This is absolutely building on the work that's been done here. So even though we are where we are in league terms, everything isn't wrong here. Um, we've been losing games closely. There are lots of factors for those that watch every week, you know, why we are where we are. But fundamentally, everything isn't wrong. And a lot of good has happened over three years. So how do we build on that? And our idea has always been similar, but never the same. So this guy is his own guy. He'll show that, um, and we're all excited about it. Hi, Andy. Hi. Uh, welcome to this field. Considering the, the great success Wagner had uh, in his time here, does that make your task even more daunting, or, or is that not a concern for you? I'm just focusing on my work because this was my way until now. Uh, and now I'm uh, the manager of Huddersfield, which makes me extremely proud. So the most important thing is, uh, as I said, I respect what David did. It is incredible. Uh, and it was fantastic for all the people here and the club could develop like, like that. Uh, so uh, please give me the, uh, the, my view and I'd like to figure that out. Yeah, so um, I think this is my, uh, my way and um, yeah, important to know that. Thank you. There are a couple of German players in the squad. Do you think that's an advantage for you to bring your message across them as a playing style? Yeah, maybe as you uh, as you got to know now, maybe some sometimes words are missing. Yeah? I try to improve as quick as possible, but uh, maybe sometimes it is an advantage, of course. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> so the most important thing is um, I'd like to talk to everyone uh, in English, yeah? and that's really important because we're an English club, we're an English football club, and um, it's an English thinking. And I think that the uh, German players can help me with some words, and yeah, <laughs> it's positive. Okay. Okay, that's the end of it. We'll, uh, we'll ask the broadcast section to end there, please, if that's okay. And we'll, uh, we'll throw it open to embargo thing for tomorrow morning.